Good morning. It's Saturday. My allergies are, allergies are just in full bloom. I, I probably you probably can't even understand me because I love blah, 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 blah. But uh, I've already taken my Claritin, and I'm about to actually head out into the Texas Hill Country. But before I do, I'm going to actually prepare. I've actually cleaned up some of the dirty dishes in my kitchen because I want to come home to a clean kitchen, and I'm going to actually set the crock pot and make some of some stewed chicken so that when I get home I'll have a nice meal something that you know fills the apartment with you know pleasant smells and we can go from there one of the things I am going to use is the Reynolds slow cooker liners which I've used before I found these actually on sale at my local grocery store and these are fabulous I mean because it makes cleaning up after you know cooking something in a slow cooker a breeze it's I definitely recommend it okay see so I've put the liner in the in it and before you actually put any food in there make sure that it's pressed all the way down and up against the sides so that you are going to get good heating and that when you do place the food in it doesn't just pull the liner in down there on top of you so let me give you an outside look at that too so now we're going to go and cut the chicken open. This is a really simple thing that I've done for a long time so I'll show you. Okay I've actually put the chicken in the uh, slow cooker. Okay now what I've done is actually I've put in some uh, salt, some black pepper, some minced garlic which isn't as great as fresh garlic but it's going to be in the slow cooker for a while so it should rehydrate a little bit and had a lot of flavor because I like a lot of garlic. You can see a lot of the garlic in there. And some Italian seasoning. And that's it. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to actually cut open and put in the uh, stewed tomatoes. I'm going to actually use two cans. So, and these actually have uh, uh, oregano and, and uh, basil in it as well. So, so you have a lot of uh, good flavoring in there. But before we do that, what I'm going to do is since I just coated the top of this, I'm actually get my hands dirty a little bit and just mix those around, flip them around, and make sure all the seasoning are, are like equally distributed around that place. Now I've opened up those two tomatoes. I've actually flipped those things around a little bit and washed my hands again. I've washed them twice now, be like three or four times before I'm done. So go ahead and take the stewed tomatoes and just dump them over your chicken. And we're going to actually use both. Sorry if my filming is not fantastic, but I'm trying to pay attention to both. I need to get better at that. So we have here, and now once again, get the hands dirty. I'm going to actually mix that all up, put the lid on, and put it on for like nine hours at low, and let her rip. So give me one more second. And I mix those up. We'll put those put the top back on plug our little bad boy in so again like I said set it for low and we are going to set it for nine hours because I'm going to go out into the Texas Hill Country and do some filming out there and it's good to go it's cooking and it'll be there when we get back so I'll talk to you all in just a minute because I need to go to the gas station do some other little things and do that and then we'll be off. I bought some green tea and some Pepsi to wake me up, fill the car up with gas, and we are off to the hill country. First thing we're going to actually do is actually I'm going to stop at the uh, Admiral Nimitz uh, Pacific War Museum and then we're going to head to Enchanted Rock. So a quick little thing, hopefully this will actually help me stay on my diet too, but uh, we'll go from there. We are here in Fredericksburg at the National Museum of the Pacific War. We have a lot of neat, I mean this is pretty impressive to be in the middle of the Texas Hill Country. It's an amazing structure and nice looking museum. So let's go inside.
The plan was to bomb Japanese cities, especially Tokyo. But the U.S. had no airfields close to Japan. Traditional naval planes would have to be launched from aircraft carriers dangerously near Japan. The ingenious solution was to launch longer-range Army Air Force E-20. Just take a look at all the memorials. To continue around the other side. Down the wall. And up. And around. Okay, that was amazing. That's come a long way since I was a little kid. Um, because when I was a little kid, the, the Admiral Nimitz Museum was essentially just a bunch of junk World War II remnants I mean that we could climb on and do everything else but what they've done now and what they've actually built up here is fantastic and it is really uh, a great memorial to the people who served and who died in World War II. I'm about halfway up. I decided to sit here for a good, it's been about five minutes now. I think I'll try another five minutes because I'm in no shape to do this like I once was. I remember going all the way up to the summit in, in one try back when I was in shape. Uh, I don't want to kill myself, but it's still, it's just gorgeous up here. I mean, look at the view from up here. And the uh, creek down there is actually flowing. Y'all can see that. So, Beautiful. You can probably hear a lot of the wind. I don't even know if you can hear me. But it's a cooler spot up here. It's a, it's a little ways down. My car is right over there in that parking lot. See the nanomas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. They look like footprints, all strung out all over the top up here. So, anyway, I got just a little bit to go up to the top. I need to find the plaque for Captain Jack and film that. Take some more pictures from up there. But I might rest here for a few more minutes. Once again, I'm gonna make sure I just don't die. <laughs> to the top it's a different almost a different landscape up here it's amazing because it's just all solid granite you got a lot of leftover from the storms earlier this week a lot of little ponds it's a lot more brush uh, I guess greener than it was when I I guess last came here back in the 80s and I can't find the uh, the plaque maybe it was removed to Captain Jack Hayes where he fended off the Comanche up here. What really was is the Comanche didn't want to come up here because they held this place sacred. 
because this is where some of the ancient Indians actually used to hold sacrificial ceremonies. So, it is very high up and you have a great view all across the Texas Hill Country. Well, that was interesting. I didn't find that plaque. I'm wondering if it's still there. I might stop up here at the ranger station and ask them if it's still there. I think the picture I took was actually back either in the late 80s or very early 90s when I was when I was still in college. So um, I'll have to go see if I can actually find that picture. Maybe I can scan it in and use that. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm letting the air conditioner roll. I, I know, in fact, you can probably that's probably causing you not to be able to hear me all that well. Uh, let the car cool down a little bit and then heading home. It's been a good day. I am back home and man does it smell good in here. I'm loving this. Dodge even think it smells good. Don't you Dodge? I still have about 50 minutes left. But you can see the stewed chicken breasts still cooking in there. Those are going to be really, 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 really good. So, I can't wait. But anyway, like I said before, this was a very good day. So my feet and my legs hurt going up three flights of stairs to the apartment after doing that at the rock, but that's my own fault. So I think basically what it comes down to, I have about a month before I'm supposed to go to LA and and tour a lot of places. I'm actually going this Friday just to visit the Queen Mary. But um, at the beginning of October, I'll be going to a lot of different theme parks, filming a lot there, doing that. And I probably actually need to start looking after myself a, a whole lot better. So, we here we go.